Hi, my name is Leslie Almberg and I am a lecturer in Applied Geology within the School of Science and Engineering. The unit that I was working on for the eScholars program was Geology 101. Podcasts were three to five minute videos that were a synthesis of audio instruction with some call out text, uh, with video um, manipulations of samples, sometimes with animations drawn over that. And these were used to illustrate and to demonstrate some of the key skills that students commonly struggle with. Uh, one of the, the real benefits of doing it this way was we were able to actually have a student modeling the types of behaviors and the types of skills that our incoming students should be able to achieve. One of the other technologies that we introduced was the pre-practical lecture or basically using the inverted classroom model where students were required to watch about 15 minute long instructional videos that were simply re recorded using Echo 360. Um, this allowed me to record uh, a video image of myself side by side with a type of PowerPoint um, slide giving details of of vocabulary they should understand, of the procedures they should follow, of the theory that they needed in order to perform the practical exercise for that week. By, by using this inverted classroom model, students found that they were able to have a lot more time for really hands-on work, for collaborative learning in the classroom, in the laboratory, and for getting one-on-one -on -one instruction or small group instruction from either myself or from the demonstrators. We also introduced some iPads into the classroom so that students could access these materials if they hadn't had a chance to watch them before they came or if they wanted to actually review them. The vodcasts in particular were designed for students to be watching as they were going through the exercise to feel supported and so that they didn't need to constantly call a demonstrator or me over to them. Um, and so in that way we supported students who didn't have the mobile technologies available to them. We were we're also providing students with a series of formative online quizzes. These were purely optional ways for them to check their understanding of the material both from the, the large lectures and from the tutorials online. The student response to the vodcasts and the pre-practical lectures was overwhelmingly positive. Uh, the vast majority of students found the online materials helped them to prepare for the practical activities ahead of time and provided them with skill demonstration when they needed it. So they didn't have to sit around waiting for an instructor or a demonstrator. And this also freed up um, time within, um, within the practicals for themselves. Many, many students um, were talking about the pre-practical lectures in class. They would come with notes prepared from those. And um, because we had a third year student who was also one of the demonstrators who had created the vodcast, they would actually tell him how fantastic that was and what a great resource it was for them. So this is my third year teaching this unit and I personally observe students to be far more confident and competent in performing key mineral identification skills than in previous years. <clears throat> in general they appeared to be more aware of the different tools for a mineral ID and how to use them correctly. And also the the quality of the student practical portfolios had jumped markedly from last year. Um, I also found that my student demonstrators were better prepared and they were more confident in their instruction. This is something that I hadn't anticipated, but this was a, a really a nice um, unexpected benefit and they credited these pre-practical lectures and vodcasts um, as great resources for them to review so that they came into the class better prepared. Uh, and then, of course, that helped them to better support the students that they were helping. For other lecturers, the, the software for creating the pre-practical lectures is fairly straightforward to use and with a little bit of either peer mentoring or um, some workshops, it would be quite easy for many people to take this up.